Hello, this is um, How to Heal from Pain Part 4. <laughs> okay, so there's, there's going to be quite a few parts to this, probably 10 parts. Um, I, I want to speak some about uh, another, something that, that keeps everybody in pain, something that everybody with, with tension myositis syndrome is what they call it, that tension myositis syndrome, tension mild neuro syndrome. It's basically tension that's caused in your mind, and um, one of one of the and, and it causes it's caused in your mind and it causes pain in your body. Okay, and people have pain in their foot, they have pain in their knee. I'm talking about excruciating pain. I'm talking about pain that um, say you might have fell and you and you you broke your leg 15 years ago or 10 years ago or a year ago. Okay, and you're still hurting in that leg. Well. That's probably the place that the tension myositis syndrome, the TMS, is set in, you know, to keep you out of your mind from your emotions and on the pain in your body, to keep your focus on that pain in your body. Okay, another way TMS can sit in is you've been going through hard times. You've been going through real, real hard times. It might be financial. It might just be uh, with a husband or wife issue, a divorce, somebody dying, anything like that. And then all of a sudden, Say so you just been over one day to, you know, rake the yard or pick up, pin up off the floor or, or turn over in bed and all of a sudden what they call, you know, I pull my back out of place. That's another way uh, tension, uh, mild side of syndrome sets in. People think that uh, they pulled something. So they'll go to the doctor and they'll get x-rays and everything. The doctor usually... Nine times out of ten can find a normal abnormality in your body somewhere to say, hey, that's the reason for the pain, okay? Uh, nowadays, a lot of doctors are, are calling it psychosomatic disorders, which is short for PPD. And it just it just means it's create, you got pain in your body that's created from tension. But it's like, you're, it's, it's like okay, you've been over in bed and then you heard this big pop. Oh, my God, you know, well, what is it? And you go to the doctor, and the doctor says, okay, well, you got a bulging disc. And so, in your mind, it's got to be the bulging disc is the reason you're hurting in your back. But the truth is, it's not the bulging disc. The bulging disc has probably been there for years and years and years. It's just a normal abnormality. And what's happened is the tension myositis syndrome found a place that it can trick you, that it can sort of fool you, not sort of, but it, that it can fool you and make you think that it's physical when it's really something that's caused it's the brain that puts pain in your body okay and it's real pain okay it's real pain but anyway I want to talk about um, another reason the tension myositis syndrome and, and I just like to call it pain okay because every it seems like everybody has it especially if you got perfectionist personality and the goodest personality um, not you don't have to have them combined. You can be a good as a perfectionist. You don't have to be a perfectionist um, in order for this to set in. But uh, we we call them the top T's. The top T's. There's there's this new name that's made up. It's called the top T's for people that stay stressed out all the time. People just worry all the time. Okay. Uh, Carl Jung. Carl Jung. People, I call it, always call him Carl Jung. Got it. He's a he's a famous psychologist. He studied along with Sigmund Freud, and uh, he 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 wrote a lot about how people can can have pain in their bodies from tension. So did Sigmund Freud. Uh, Sigmund Freud uh, had famous cases on it. There was a couple famous cases that he had on it where people had pain in their bodies from uh, from being really worried and really stressed out. Uh, the thing is, is over the years, over the last 50, 75, 100 years, medicine has basically been aimed at the body. Okay? And they're always treating the symptoms. They're treating the symptoms. They're always treating the symptoms, but they never know the root cause of what's causing, causing this pain in your body. And they'll say, well, the root cause is because you need a knee surgery. And the person will go get the knee surgery, but when they're done, they still hurt in their knee. Or the person will go get the shoulder surgery when they're done, 
does still hurt in their shoulder or an eye surgery and they'll still hurt in their eye. Uh, I don't know how many people get eye surgeries, but I'm just saying, I mean, there's there's pain that can settle anywhere in your body. It doesn't have to be a specific kind. Uh, I hear a lot of people talk about, well, my pain's this and my pain's that, and I don't see all the success stories that that I do with all the would like to back pain people and or the people with fibromyalgia I don't I see all their success stories but I've got this shoulder pain and and I don't see those success stories well they're out there they're everywhere I'm, I'm a success story from shoulder pain I had shoulder rotator cuff frozen shoulder pain in both my shoulders for over 20 something years and um, when I learn what I'm about to tell you uh, you know, if you combine it with the other videos, uh, how to heal from pain, part one, two, and three, and this is should be part four. Uh, anyway, then then you'll start to to notice, you know, what it is that we're doing to ourselves. Now, to get back to Carl Jung for a minute, um, he 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 named the part that's in every one of us is called the shadow. Okay, that's that part when you go home at night and Remember, this is six minutes into it now, so this is right where you want to start listening to, to get the info that I'm going to give to you for the next six minutes, and then we're going to end it. But anyway, it's called the shadow, and this is where you're laying there, and um, you've been going through some hard times. Maybe it's money issues. Maybe it's personal relationships. Maybe um, it, it could be anything. You know, Maybe the, the person, at your, your boss is giving you a hard time at work. Maybe your whole life you've always felt. You've just felt on the inside of you like nobody's cared for you. Maybe, maybe you've always felt like um, people's watching you and trying to, you know, hoping you're going to be as good as your mom or as good as your dad. A lot of people in sports, I, I, I believe, um, they don't get to make it in sports because this settles in their body. You know, to be perfect, and then and then they they put so much pressure on themselves. They say, you know, they have these terrible injuries. And they got this pain, and they can't perform at top levels anymore, so they can't make it to the game. A lot of the a lot of the greats that do make it, um, they go on to have several surgeries, whatever, whether they're foot surgeries and knee surgeries or back surgeries or whatever. Larry Bird's famous for having back surgeries. Um, but here's my point: uh, it's not just it's not just sports people. It's everyday common people has this shadow. Every every one of us do. We all have the shadow. That's where when you look in the mirror, when it's just you in that mirror, and you look in the mirror and you say, and you think in your mind, I'm ugly, okay? Or you look in the mirror and you think, I'm no good. Nobody loves me. Or you look in the mirror and you think, there's no way in the world am I ever going to get out of this hole. You, you just think deep down inside that something's not right, okay? And what you have to do is you have to start peeling back the layers, sort of. You have to start changing your thoughts about who you are okay i remember watching a show and it had lance armstrong and i've always loved lance armstrong i'm, I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that don't like him because of you know because he took steroids to win uh all seven tour de france's and then he 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 passed over a thousand drug tests okay and then he came out and he actually told an interviewer that he had been doping, that he had been using um, steroids, doping, whatever you call it, in, in, in the Tour de France. Um, he just wanted to get it out. He wanted to get it out. He wanted to tell this person. And when he told this person, they stripped him of all seven of his Tour de France titles. He um, he had this, he still got this huge following called Live Strong on the Internet. You can be a part of it. It's all about, you know, Staying healthy and staying strong, keeping the right mindset and all of that, which I love it. Live strong, I mean, dot com, live strong dot com. If you ever get a chance, check it out. It's pretty awesome. You don't have to be, um, you know, take prednisone or whatever, whatever the drug was that he was taking in order to be the best you that you can be. But anyway, what he done was when he came out, he he finally said, yes, I I was taking steroids. Yes, I was I was doping as they call it. He looked at the interviewer and he said, I've, I've, I finally feel, I feel relieved now. I feel happy now. Now he, he lost millions and millions of dollars. He lost all kinds of things. 
but most of us would think that was crazy, you know. You done passed a thousand drug tests, you know, you done made it, you know, I mean, you done, you done warned, you, you don't have to say this, but it was something that was burning up on the inside of him, and, and here's my point, and he let it out, and he felt better, I'm sure he was, I'm sure he was creating a lot of pain in his body by holding in that secret, and that's the thing that I'm talking about, on deep down inside of us, we've, we've got hurts and pains, and we got secrets. Not that we have to tell the world, but we have to come at peace with ourselves with whatever these secrets are. Okay? You don't have to come out and tell the world all your secrets. But you do have to come to peace and know that those secrets, whatever they might be, and it might have been something that happened 10 years ago, it might have been something that happened 5 years ago. It, it, you, one thing is to remember this. Okay? Right now in the now, you're listening to me on this video. And whatever that is that hurts you happened that many years ago, it's not happening to you right now. In your mind, when you think about it, you feel it in your body as if it's really happening. And the truth is, it's not happening no more. You're replanted in your imagination, and you're giving it power by feeling bad because of the emotion that comes on you from that. And if you could think about whatever it is, Whatever that deep dark shadow is, like I said, if you look in the mirror and you say, well, I'm ugly, like that, you know, God's only made one, one person like you in this world. Look in that mirror and tell yourself you're beautiful. You've probably never told yourself you're beautiful in years. So look in, that could, that could be, you know, you, did, did you know that there's lots of models out there? There's lots of people that we really consider the beautiful people that think that they're really ugly people. And then there's... And then there's a lot of people that's really ugly that, <laughs> uh, well, I don't, I don't hate to say it that way, but they really don't look all that great, but they think they're most, the most beautiful people in the world. So, here's what I'm saying. Get yourself in balance, in balance, in balance with who you are, okay? Be congruent with your energy type. If you're a person that goes out and you do everything you can do to be in good shape and every, keep yourself up, Quit looking in the mirror and thinking that you got to be better and better and better and better. It, it's great if you're if you're in a high, you know, um, high uh, sport where you've got to really work out all the time and stuff, and you got to look great and all that. That's good, but don't look in the mirror at night and tell yourself, you know, how terrible life is when life's not not terrible. Okay, it, I saw somewhere the other day of. Uh, it was like you you got one in a hundred trillion chance for you being here on earth right now with all the wars and with just just, just all the possibilities of, of things happening in the world you've got one in a trillion chance one in a hundred trillion okay chance that you could have made it here alive you the person I'm speaking to in this video there here's my point again Lance Armstrong, he finally got it off his chest. It made him feel better. I'm sure it saved him from a lot of future pain in his body. Um, most of us, we hold in on the inside some that, that person that we really are, okay? But we'll never let the world see it, okay? Some of us are great guitarists. Some of us are great artists. Some of us are great singers. But we think everybody's, nobody else has ever listened to us sing, so... Why should we ever sing? And then we hold it back and we never go and, and use that beautiful part of us. Well, that's artistic people. We got other people that, um, you know, are great construction, are, are great co engineers, and people that's great math magicians, uh, people's great magicians, people that's, but, but it's not just, you know, what you do for work or leisure. It's also the things you tell yourself, okay? It's also the things you tell yourself on inside your mind that maybe your mama, you know, just by not meaning anything, might have said one day, you know, that's an ugly face, like that. Because she might have got mad at you because you might have been doing something wrong. And your whole life, the rest of your life, you felt on the inside like your mother said you was an ugly person. And now you hold that. Or, or you know, like in sixth grade, one of the kids might have bullied you. Now you're, for your, your whole life, you, you, you feel you know, like a victim. And the thing is, you need to get this out. And that's the, the reason for journaling, guys, okay? First of all, become aware that 
in the shadow part that that that's what's boiling back there and become aware of these thoughts and the only way you can become aware of these thoughts is to write about your past your present uh, your past and your present you know or the things you went through in your childhood the things you're going through in your current life right now um, events write them down write it all out and when you get done with it tear the paper up and throw it away I always like ending mine on a good note so that I can like reframe my journaling and and then you know end it with something good like one day I was journaling and it was something bad about what went on with me and my dad and then at the end I reframed it because it's your imagination and you can change your imagination the way you want to and that's the thing about when you go back to your imagination and start writing in a journal about your life if it's something from back a long time ago you can go back and you can change those memories if you if you so wish you can change them so I went back and I remembered the day that my dad didn't take me fishing I remembered that he did pick me up so I saw the little kid I went over and gave him a hug and I I, I did like join parts with this little kid and then me and my dad went fishing okay now that's something else that that's for another teaching and I'm not going to talk about that here but you don't even got to you don't have to go into that you can just write out your journal pour out the pain pour out the hurt and, and let it all out and then when you get done write write out and reframe it you know he did the best he could do you know or something like that um, if there's nothing positive that you can write about it tear it up tear it up do away with it and go get your thoughts on something good okay do that that'll help too but you have to first think in your mind what is what is it that I'm holding in that I'm not telling everybody you know because it's probably pretty much unconscious to you at this time so you're not going to know what it is you're not you, you're not going to consciously know what it is but once you start journaling about your past and uh, your past you know things you've been through uh, your and your present things that you've been through your past traumas and fears your present traumas and fears and more than likely to be something that, that's just the smallest thing somebody just hurt you one day because they knocked over a table uh, when you was just a kid and you was trying to play Richie Rich well that was one of mine okay but anyway I had to go back to that and I had to fix it and change it and realize that that was still bothering me on the inside but at the same time current pressures I had a business and and, and, and I lost that business and it, and it had had a basically had me every day thinking I was no good I would never be able to go forth in my life I'd never be able to move forth in my life and and I had to bring and write about that it was in my shadow I was hiding it from everybody but it was creating a lot of pain in my body when I wrote about it when I forgave myself for it when I looked at it in a different way that I could still move on my life I could still do whatever I want to do in life I can become whoever I want to be then I let it go see then I can let it go because when you start to look at your beliefs in a different way then you can let them go so just remember what I'm saying here the this shadow part okay in the shadows there's a lot of pain and a lot of darkness and a lot of people don't like going there and the thing is that's where your healing lies just like Eleanor Roosevelt says on the other side of your fear is where your healing lies and you have to know that uh, William James the famous psychologist said you know uh, do two things every day that, that you fear do it do it every day and and you'll you'll get better and what whatever's going on in your life it's all about clearing out this shadow part that Carl Jung talked about in all of his works the shadow the shadow that part at night when it's just you and nobody else just you and you're sitting there and those hurts those feelings those, that pain and when you start journaling about it don't I'm not talking about a diary I'm talking about get a journal write in that journal and, and write out all your hurts and pains there. Write about you and your personality traits, because your person, your your past, your present, and your personality traits. Because you could have personality traits like the perfectionist or the goodest, and that could be creating a lot of pain in your shadow too. 
So I hope everybody understands what the shadow is. This is going on for 20 minutes now. God bless you. This is going to be a great part of the teaching. And if you got any questions, ask them below and have a great day. God bless you.